crazy. I dream of trying to play me. Gazing on days and contagious show my face. YouTube, it's your girl Asia. And it's your boy BJ. And, and we, we back like, like we, we never left. left. Y'all, we about to tap in today. We about to definitely jump into some classic rock. About to check out Cream. And the title of this song is Right. Whoa. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and the title of this one is White Room. Okay. The only white room I can think of is that white padded room uh, that they take people who are mentally unstable. Yeah. So I don't know, maybe they have something to do with that. Yeah. Let's check it out. Starlings. I'm still trying to figure out what he's talking about when he's talking about windows and he's talking about starlings I'm, down at the station. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused as to what it is that he's referring to. Like, what is he talking about? Is he talking like a, like a, a uh, like an underlining type of meaning to what it is that he's saying or what it is that he's talking about in particular? I don't know. Is he going to do something like a, a mental struggle? Is he going to do some type of... I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Mental anguish. I don't know. Like, like I'm just trying to figure out white room. Uh, goodbye windows. Tired starlings. I'm not sure, y'all. Y'all got to fill me in with this one. Yeah. Goodbye windows. Tired starlings. I'll sleep in this place with the
Okay, so yeah, we had a chance to check out Crane White Room. Yeah. Uh, it sounded like, like Eric Clapton, he was more on the lead on this one. I think he's more of the lead on pretty much every song, I think, on Crane. I'm not 100% sure. But this one sounded really good. It definitely had like a classic rock feel to it. Uh, kind of like kind of like the sound that you kind of typically, like I said, you hear like in the 60s and the 70s. Mm -hmm. It almost kind of gave me a feel of like a... Um, not not lyrically, but just by the way that the music sounded, kind of gave me like a, like a feel in regards to like a rebellious feel, kind of like you know going against the powers that be, like like that like that 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 feel that you get in the '60s and the '70s, like you get like you yeah. get that type of like rebellious type of rock and roll feel to the music, you know what I mean? Yeah. But as far as like lyrically, I have no idea what he was talking about. I have no idea what he was speaking to. All I know in, in regards to a white room, the white room is padded. And they put the pads in there for your protection. And there's yeah. nothing else in the room. Well, it sounded like it was like something that was going on inside their head. Like, you know, shadows that... Because he started talking about shadows. Then he was talking about uh, looking at into the windows. They're only dressing. Like, almost as if he's seeing something that's not really there. You know, like, almost... I, I would just think that it would be one of them type of... Like if you're in a, in a like you said, mental issues. Like, they, they get put into these, these facilities because they have mental... Uh, illnesses, you know, when it comes to yeah. that. So uh, my assumption would be that, like, what he was actually talking about was something that was more so in their head, like, like that was what was having wrong a conversation with, with himself. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I, the whole time in regards to this whole song, I really was try, trying to hone in and try to figure exactly what he was speaking in regards to. Yeah. Uh, but overall, I love like the music standpoint of like the '60s and the '70s. Uh, just the sound is, is just infectious yeah. at the end of the day. Agree. Yeah, that guitar sound it, the, that kind of went throughout. I loved how that sounded. It kind of made the sound, the song sound exactly kind of how you were describing it. So I agree. I liked it. I liked how the music part of it sounded, but I was a little bit lost on like the verbiage. So mm -hmm. I, if, if, if I was hearing it right, I feel like it had something to do with like what was going on in their head. Like if it was a person that was in this room, they would be having all these crazy thoughts of things and seeing things that, that, that aren't there or seeing things that, you know, hearing things that they don't hear, yeah. see things that they don't see. You know what I mean? Like that type of thing. So I don't I don't know, though. Y'all let us know. Fill us in on that, too. So if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell, join the family. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all.